I'm uh, out on a walk, I'm heading home and uh, I just saw the sunset over there not sure if this camera will catch it but look at that I did get some good photographs about about 40 minutes ago um, but the sun is now disappearing over the horizon but look at it it's a little bit chilly but not too bad there's a little bit of breeze but not too bad so I'm in a field <laughs> um, in a turf field actually so what I'll do is uh, carry on this way along the edge of the field because I can see the moon over there so let's get past this hedge it is a bit dark now <laughs> look at that look at the sunset though oh my goodness me it's fantastic let's see if I can see this moon where's it gone the moon is over there I must get past these trees pretty dark I've just put the torch in my pocket because I'm going to be going into some woods in a minute <laughs> and I will need the torch then the ground is uh, very muddy and uh, <laughs> you probably can't see anything because it's dark now I've walked this route many many times before I sometimes think I could walk it with my eyes closed slosh 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 through the mud get onto the next field go a little way down this field here oh it looks like the clouds coming over the moon you want to have a look round here we are bye bye sun Bye bye sunset. Um, I uh, I've just been uh, stopped by a, a well a four by four. This is an estate, so there are people driving around. Um, young lads usually, <laughs> you nice driving around, and I've seen that lad before, and. Uh, he says, are you all right? Are you lost? <laughs> I said, no, I'm not lost. But uh, very kind of him to come. And I don't know how he knew that I was out and about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there's any cameras here. I don't know. Now, stepping onto this track, it is full of puddles. So, I think I might just get the uh, torch out. I've got a head torch, but I won't put it on my head. Oh, and it's such a shame the moon is over there. And it's getting covered up with the clouds. It is it's looking like a full moon, actually. Big and bright in the sky. Anyway, I had a nice conversation with that nice young man and his, uh, it was like a pickup type truck thing and uh, meant for rough terrain, of course. He is a farm worker and uh, I said, oh, I'm OK, thank you. Oh, look, can you just see, can you just see a little bit of the moon peeping out there? Oh, what a shame about the clouds. Oh. Yeah, it's getting proper dark now. Well, what I really should have done is set off a bit earlier. <laughs> but uh, I'm always faffing about, not getting organised. Now, there's great big puddles here. So I'm going to try and find a way around them. Oh, dear. Shall I go to the right or the left? Oh dear. 
being careful here because it's very muddy. Ooh. <laughs> oh dear. See if I can put this uh, torch. I've got the camera in the right hand. I don't think the torch is that good actually. No. <laughs> Not that good really. Let me see if I can get it any brighter than that. Oh, that's a bit better. No, it's not that good. Right. Oh, the moon's going. I wanted you to see the moon. <laughs> this torch is pretty rubbish. I need to change the batteries in the torch. Yeah. Uh, right. Oops. I've just stood in some water. Now. Oh, I can see my torch light now. Yeah. There's the moon. Uh, well. This torch is giving me a little bit of light. Yeah, I need to get some batteries in this and I'll get a better torch. Woo dear, it's slippery on the mud. There, can you see the moon? A bit of it now. <laughs> it is a full moon. And uh, coming to the point where I've got to go through the wood. Oops, I can hear dogs. Nobody about, nobody about here. Nobody's daft enough to come out <laughs> in the dark. Except the young man in the truck. There are some lights down there, there's some buildings down there. Oh. Right, so there's the moon. And I have got to go to the left. Now the path used to be straight on, but they diverted it to... <laughs> and you can't see a thing. <laughs> Well, neither can I. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm going to pick my way through here. It's only a small piece of wood. Ooh. Oh, I can see the end of it, look. You can see the end, I'm coming out at the end, look. I'm just going to have to be careful not to go into one of these very deep puddles. Could do with a bit of hardcore down here, really. I don't suppose they'll do that. Ooh. Well, we'll get the last look at the sun here. The sunset. The last look. Well, this is not very exciting for you, is it? Here we are, come out at the woods, and there is a massive puddle. So, oops, I'm going to have to step over it and get onto, oops, the turf field. Right, anyway, this is uh, Ilona coming back into my village. Should be there in about 10, 15 minutes. Then we'll say bye for now. Doodle pip.